hello everyone welcome back to the power bi tutorial video in this video we are going to learn more about power queries in the previous video we saw that uh, how can we use power queries to transform our data that was unclean or if we wanted to just perform some of the operations over our data then how can we do that with the help of a power query editor so we just combined the different columns of data into one in the previous video in this video we are going to learn some more functions that are possible on a data with the help of power query the reason why we are stressing so much on this or why we are covering two videos over this is because power query is a very important feature of power bi and uh, whenever you are working with data in real time or in any kind of organization then it is a 90 percent chance that your data is unclean it is not going to be like cleaned with the all records present known as values or everything in a proper format that's rare so you should know how to work with an unclean data how to clean it first and then how can you load it into your power bi that is why we are going to cover this video also with uh, power queries so let's uh, start first of all let us take a look at our data source so these are the three sheets on which we are going to work today uh, split is the name of the sheet okay so here we have some five records and all of them have a uniform status or a uniform data is present on them there is first the name of the state, then the, is the name of the country, and then is the name of the continent. So these are the three values or the three fields that are present in this address field itself. And then we have quantity. So what we need to do when we load this data into a Power BI is that we need to split them into three different columns, the state column, country column, and the continent column. Okay. And then uh, this quantity column is going to be as it is. So let's see how can we do that. Let's go to Power BI and import our data from Excel. This is my data and that is data source underscore unclean, which is uh, just a Excel workbook, the name of the Excel workbook. So you gotta wait for a few seconds uh, till this data is loaded. Okay, so we have got table two. If you just select over this, okay, not this one, not table three, not table four. It's actually table one, I think, yeah. So table one is what we are going to work upon. So you can just click on this table like this and you will be able to see its preview. And you can just check it and click on transform data so that we can go to the Power Query Editor window. If you directly click on load, it would be loaded into Power BI and Power Query Editor would not be visible. So you would not be able to make any of the changes in your data, right? Okay, so here what we have is this data or this column which you want to change which you want to split up right now uh, one interesting thing to note over here is the format of this data we have got what like text over here right so you can see abc written over here which denotes that yes this data is of textual type and when in quantity we have one two three which means it's of number type so that's like a quick fact so in address what we can do is we can either go to transform or add column both of them have the same functionalities or the same features but the difference is when we click on transform this column will just remove itself and it will be replaced by three different columns while if we click on add column three new columns would be added along with this column okay so we do not want three new columns to be added we actually want this add column thing uh, to be kept on for side we want this transform column thing to come up so let's click on transform since we want to split up this data and this is a textual data okay that's why we just uh, checked abc so we need to go to this text column format or this text column group um, make sure your column is selected and there is a split column option you can click on it there is this number of options that you can choose from but since in our data we have comma separated values so we can take comma as a delimiter or a separator that's why we are going with this first option that is by delimiter so uh, by default uh, a comma is selected as a delimiter but in case you're wondering there is are these different signs that could add as a delimiter 
or you can also add a custom delimiter for yourself i'm going with comma and split at each occurrence of the delimiter okay because um, i want three separate columns or if you wanted only like uh, the state to be separated and the country and the continent to be crammed up in the same column then you can just go with the leftmost delimiter or anything that you want then you can just click on ok and you can see that we have got states countries and continents we can just double click over here and rename them as states double click countries and double click for the continents right so that's how it works that's how quick it is and you can just go to home tab and choose on this close and apply so what will happen is in a few seconds this table would be in front of you table one would be in front of you and with the changes applied to it okay so you gotta wait for a few seconds and yeah table one is now loaded if we just expand it so you would be able to see the columns okay like uh, continents countries quantity and states now let's work upon the next sheet so we can go to uh, recent sources um, that is data source unclean here what we have is uh, a table 2 in which what we are going to work we have a product id that is made up of like two letters uh, two alphabets then there are four numbers and then there are these um, six <coughs> alphanumeric characters so what we want to do is we want to separate these values although a delimiter is given to us but we do not want to work with the delimiter we want some other way to separate them so how can we do that let's just select this table click on transform data to transform it or to uh, make sure that the power query editor is opened <coughs> excuse me okay now so we have this product id column if we just go to this transform tab so we have okay so uh, before that you must make sure that your uh, column is selected and since it is a text column that's why we are going here into the text column uh, you can go to extract so how many characters you want to extract by length uh, first characters last characters or range of characters whatever you want to extract you can just go with it but since there are these three values, so we need to go to this add column option. If you just go to this add column option, you will find that there is the same function available for the text again. You can go to extract and let's see that how can we extract the first characters. If we just click on the first characters, then what happens is we get a count. That is how many characters starting from the left you want to extract. So I want to separate these two uh, alphabets. So let's just say two and click on OK. Now what happens is I get two characters from each record. Similarly, if you want to extract like uh, the last characters, so last uh, six characters I want to extract, I can simply click on six as a count and click on OK. Okay, so that is kind of a problem. Let's just um, again work with it. I want to extract last characters. Oh, sorry I just gave two so if you want to just undo your work you can just go to applied steps and undo it from here I want to extract the last characters how many last characters I want to extract six last characters so yeah uh, six last characters are present over here similarly if you want to extract uh, between the delimiters this middle portion could be extracted between the delimiters okay so you can go to delimiter so the start delimiter is a hyphen and the end delimiter is also a hyphen and you can click on ok so yeah it's not working let's just uh, check it once again start delimiter is hyphen and the end delimiter is hyphen and click on ok okay so i don't know why it is working but um, yeah it should work so you can just go with um, 
if you want to just check this middle thing you can just go to text between delimiter and usually it works i don't know why it is not working right now and uh, once you've done that you can just go to close and apply and these changes would be applied or if you want to just discard these changes you can just exit this power query editor and you can click on not now if you do not want to work upon with these changes okay now again to the recent sources that is the data source on clean we have another sheet available with us that is uh, or another table available with us that's table 4 which is having uh, like kind of uh, names the first name the last name but the difference is that we have not a proper case they are not in a proper upper case they are not in proper lower case they are not in proper sentence case so we have kind of a problem here so for that purpose what you can do is you can just press ctrl a to select whole of this table go to transform and uh, here you have like format so uh, in the format a common convention for a name is capitalize each word that is the first letter must be capital and all the rest are small so you can just select on this one and you see all of your uh, names have been changed if you want to just convert them all to uppercase you can just click on all to uppercase then we have trim what does this trim do it would just uh, remove extra spaces from the text okay so capitalize each word is what i'm going to go with so this is how you can work with Power Query uh, and perform different operations in Power BI. That's all for this video.